Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test account, and that is right, kind of an off patch notes day. So today is Sunday. Traditionally, we do see the patch notes that come up on Wednesday. Then we see the heroes come up on Tuesday. Now, really, there are two different iterations where we see um, a different kind of timeline with the patch notes. Number one is if they're releasing a dimensional hero or if they have a crossover that is going to be announced a little bit later in the week. They will push the patch notes a little bit earlier. So it could be a dimensional, it could be a crossover that is coming. We have also seen them do the exact same thing with the patch notes, releasing them again a little bit earlier based on an Awakened Hero that is gonna be coming. And really to get along with the storyline of what they have going with the backstory of AFK Arena, we have seen these released a little bit earlier. So let's get into the notes, break them down a little bit and really looking at this new hero, it is a Greyborn Randall the Soul Ambassador. Now, identity, agility-based support. It is another support hero. When you think of the last iterations, big picture of all the heroes we have seen, it has been an incredible amount of support, not only in the traditional role of having just a support hero, but we have a lot of mages that are support, and then we have a lot of other heroes that almost play a supportive role. Interesting, that is going to be agility-based support, but overall, the introduction. So summon soul serpents, to aid him in battle and deal continuous damage. So he is gonna have a DPS kind of continuous damage aspect in here, while collecting Riven Souls to empower himself and allies. So he is going to be able to essentially boost up himself and allies, which of course is probably gonna make him a really, really big priority to build. When it comes to AFK Reno, they really don't mess around with Greyborn heroes. Um, there's not a lot, you know, short of being older heroes that don't have utility at all. Greyborns are usually pretty on point. Now, point number two here on the, the trial event is going to be up. Bountiful trial event is going to be up as well. So we know this is all coming. Want to test out this hero. And it's going to be interesting because tomorrow is 930, which means on a Monday, we're going to see the new hero on the on the um test servers, which means we're going to have to see exactly what it looks like on the global servers and how this hero does perform. The new additions and optimizations, the Voyage of Wonder, of course, the Soul Spire. This is around Randall, around our new hero. Um, toiled away, harvesting Riven Souls in the Doom Spire day after day after encountering Snake. Now, Snake, I'm assuming is just a snake, um, but it is capitalized here. It could be a name of someone. Slowly regained his consciousness. Randall decided to ascend to the peaks of Doom Spire explore the past and find missing parts of himself. Pretty cool, so we're gonna know the backstory right there of Randall. New event, Poetic Pop Quiz. It's not a new event, the Poetic Pop Quiz has been around for a couple years now. And I'm hoping with this Poetic Pop Quiz that they are very focused um, on a bunch of different, the, different AFK Arena lore. Traditionally, even the last time we did this, it seemed like they picked like three or four heroes. All of the lore was based on these three or four heroes and they really didn't do much of a backstory or much of a backdrop for a lot of the other heroes where they could make this a little bit more difficult or even just more informative, I guess, than what we're seeing within here. Because again, it seems like it's just focused on a couple different heroes. While the event is active, you can answer daily quiz questions for rewards. You want to maximize and get the most out of the rewards. Event number three, the Mystic Star Zone. This is another one that you want to do and you only have to do it for three days at a time it is very very easy to go in there um even logging in once or twice a day you can maximize your rewards in the mystic star zone and of course this is not only going to give you a ton of um loot to go ahead and build out a bunch of heroes you get a bunch of cores out of there you also get a bunch of loot but with the chest that you get out of here you can also build awakened heroes making it easier to get some of the older awakened heroes However, with the older Awakened Heroes, we still have Belinda, we still have Shamiro, we still have Laika, um, we also do have Athelia. There are a super, super good selection of heroes within an AFK arena. I don't know at what point are they gonna update the Mystic Star Zone chest to include some new heroes. If we're running this, and they said this is an event that is going to be staying around, but if we're running this for a significant amount of time, at what point, hopefully, we can change some of the loot we get out of here to get it a little bit more in line. I would love to see some arcane staffs. I would love to see more of um, our totems in there. A couple things, draconic heroes, possibly draconic scrolls, insignias, a couple other things that we could get out of here to make a lot of the summoning a lot easier. Update number four, the merit shop. You are adding Nyla, the shadow song mage to the draconic trio merit shop. Guys, PSA, public service announcement. Do not buy the heroes in there. When you look at the cost of Nyla, 
I am assuming the hero is gonna come in at 400 where the other hero is. And I think if I remember correctly, the other hero in there is Polina, um, which again, do not buy. Buy the insignias, that is your priority to really get out of the Dragonforge Trials. Once the insignias are purchased in their entirety, go ahead and pick up the scrolls. I believe you can get 40 scrolls before getting that copy of Nyla. Do not buy the heroes out of there. It is not worth it, even at the increased cost. It is not worth buying the heroes out of there at all. You wanna make sure that you're really focused on getting the, the insignias and the scrolls out of the merit shop. And I would pass on the gear too. I know a lot of players said there's no other way to get the gear. Overall gear, once you get to a certain level is not gonna make a big difference. You need the heroes versus the gear, even putting tier three, tier three gear on. And we don't know what point they're gonna upgrade the gear and be able to get essentially tier four over everyone. We're gonna to have to see exactly when that is. Nightmare Corridor replaced the God of Hunt with the Blood Vein Wraith. So again, another update right there. Forest Mania. Oh my God, guys, this is the mini game in AFK Arena that everyone kind of forgot about. It seems like this is the second, maybe third, this is either the second or third update that they've ever done to our Candy Crush. Um, they call it Forest Mania, but technically it pretty much is Candy Crush. Adding stages 106 to 120 Forest Mania. Now, as a earlier player, Forest Mania is absolutely a priority. You want to get all your diamonds out of there. You want to get everything out of this game. Once you get to a certain point, it really, really is a big time consumption. But again, once you go in there, you finish out these stages. And you can also get the assist from other players, getting three stars yourself. Now the King's Tower, just like we always do, adding more floors. You can see King's Tower, now the traditional regular King's Tower, taking floors to 2450. That is a massive runway. When you think of diamonds and essence, everything else you get out of the King's Tower, that is so many floors to produce in there to go ahead, farm them out, get content. And of course, you do get a lot of rewards out of the regular reward system. Players can climb all the way to 1440 on the faction towers. So adding a couple more floors in there. Then of course, when you look at the Celestial Sanctum and the Infernal Fortress, it is going to 960. So they're adding another 20 floors to these as well. Again, when you think big picture, looking at the faction towers, looking at your Celestial Sanctum, you are talking your um, Stargazer Scrolls, you're talking your Time Emblems, as well as everything else that is rewarded in here. It is super, super important that you're farming this out. Game adjustments, Respin's in here. If you don't know, um, don't use Respin. You can use them in the in the tower as some fodder, but not gonna be used Respin. Fix the bug, and then of course, Captive Wings. So we do have a collection that is getting an adjustment here. Fix the bug where minions can hit allied units, which uh, you don't wanna attack your own team, in rare circumstances. So again, interesting to note, they're not adding any more chapters in here. Also, we don't see anything about the Abyssal Expedition. That's pretty interesting as well. We're gonna have to see exactly what it looks like and why exactly um, these patch notes are coming up a little bit earlier than we traditionally see them. But all right, guys, so that is gonna do it for patch notes 1.152. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.